Are you the bottleneck in your business? I know that there have been times where I've evaluated my business and my role, and I have definitely been the bottleneck in my business several times. And I think that happens with a lot of entrepreneurs. We, we get in our own way sometimes. And you know, something that, that I've learned from that is one, is just recognizing that you are the bottleneck. And a lot of times we don't want to, we don't want to say that we are the bottleneck because it seems like it's really negative, but it, it's, if it's true, then it's true. So if you think you're the bottleneck in your business, there's a couple of things you can do. One is if you have a team, just flat out ask them, you know, if, do you feel like I'm the bottleneck in the business? Do you feel like you can get the things you need to get done? A lot of times, you know, we become a bottleneck in our business because we want to control everything. And that's just part of being an entrepreneur. I think we want to feel like, you know, we, we are running the ship and we're controlling every single thing. But if you've hired people, if you've hired the right people, you need to have trust in those people. So you need to give them the right tools and the resources and the encouragement and leadership that they need in order to do their job. And then you need to get out of their way. And when you don't do that, when you become the bottleneck, when everything has to go through you, you know, one, it traps you in your business because your team can't operate independent of you. They rely on you way too much, but it also creates cultural issues too. There's the trust factor there. If you've got people on your team that they want to do their job and they feel like they have to run every single thing by you and they have to wait for you to do something and they don't feel empowered to take action, then that could lead to cultural problems within your organization. So hiring the right people is very important trusting them to do their job, giving them everything they need to do their job, being very clear with them, and taking yourself out of the situation to where everything doesn't rest on you and really trusting the people on your team helps eliminate that, that whole bottleneck situation. So I would encourage you, do a check with your team, ask them, do a self-evaluation on yourself. You say, am I the bottleneck here? Is the, are things not getting done because, you know, I won't delegate or I won't let go of something and then ask yourself why that's happening. You know, because if you think you can't trust the people on your team, that's another issue. And it could be because they don't have the tools, the resources, maybe you don't have the right culture. Those are all things to look at um, when you're looking at your business. So don't be the bottleneck in your business, trust your team, and you will be way happier and more successful.